You know, maybe I should get these destructive tendencies looked at and oh, here it comes. Here it comes. This is gonna be great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's excellent. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Brick Rigs. You guys have been wanting some more Brick Rigs on the channel, so I went ahead and played some more here. Now, you're seeing a quick time lapse of the build that I'm doing for this episode. Now, I do look at some other workshop creations, but I did want to build something myself. And what I built was a limo. I'm going to flash a picture up on screen. It's uh, based on an actual Lego build. I didn't have all the parts that I needed to complete this build, so it doesn't look exact, but I'm gonna do this time lapse here. If you wanna skip this time lapse, it ends at about the two minute and 30 second mark. So if you wanna skip that, go right to that mark and you'll see me playing with this and other creations. But anyways guys, enjoy the time lapse. All right, here's the finished product. I know it's not exactly like the uh, limo that I showed you a picture of. Uh, I'm actually missing quite a few of the parts, some of the uh, curved parts for the hood and the bumpers. And I think the window they use on that build is a little shorter than this one, but this is the shortest window I have. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, I did make a big boo-boo. It actually is aiming the wrong way, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna spawn backwards, so I inverted the wheels, so I'm just gonna have to back up, but. Yeah, all in all, pretty happy with it. I'm ready to go test this thing out, so let's go ahead and spawn it. And let's see, okay. Yep, just as I expected, we are backwards. Uh, how do we get out of here? Man, there's the fan. I already want to just throw it off into the fan and destroy it. I love destroying Legos. Like, that's one of my favorite things to do, at least as a kid. I love to just sit there and spend like two hours, build something, and then destroy it in a matter of like 10 seconds. But uh, let's see, well, let's do a little bit of city driving here, just kind of test this thing out. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the fastest thing in the- what? Okay, we're already losing parts. We're going to ignore that even happened. Let's just keep driving here. But yeah, as I expected, it does turn, it's got a really wide turning radius. Uh, let's see, let's try the wobble test. I always do a wobble test, I just saw another part leave the uh, vehicle. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but um, wobble test, it seems to be fairly stable it doesn't immediately tip over I was afraid I was afraid this was gonna be a little bit top heavy I'm just looking at how tall it turned out but once you look at it the character's actually all the way to the roof so I don't think there's really much I can do about that but yeah let's go ahead uh, let's see we're gonna do a little bit of testing here let's uh around the corner see how fast we can do that oh oh nope the curb's gonna tip us there we go but yeah, there's been a lot of updates to this game. Uh, I still haven't gotten to try out multiplayer, which I think would be really fun. I kind of wish you could maybe, I don't know if this is a thing, uh, load up friends in a vehicle and just drive them around. Because this would be cool to uh, load some friends up in the back, chauffeur them around, and crash them into a building. Hold the phone, what the heck is that? That wasn't here last time. There's a train now. They must have updated that. Oh, that is going to be excellent. I need to find a train crossing because I really want to run into that. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go find one. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. I think uh, if I can lay over the train tracks, maybe we can split the limo in half. I've got a lot of parts on here, so it should make for a pretty epic crash. Uh, let's see. You know what? There's a road up here. It takes you to the left. I think there's actually a train crossing up here. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying to watch. So uh, take a left up here, and yes. Yes, there is. Oh no, it seems like we're running out of fuel here. Oh, oh, it's stalling out. Oh, oh, and we're on the tracks. You know, maybe I should get these destructive tendencies looked at and oh, here it comes. Here it comes. This is gonna be great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's excellent. Yep, it's split in half. Oh, I bet you the uh, train operator's not too happy. All right, we have a really sick looking custom semi. This was made by Cycle Boxer. Remember, I will link everybody's workshops in the description if you want to go download these vehicles for your game. But yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to drive this around just a bit. And I really want to see this thing get hit by the train too because there's a lot of pieces here. Uh, let's go ahead and drive this out over here. I don't remember these tires. I must have missed them, but man, these are really cool. Like, I love the trailer. I love the design, the hitch is awesome looking the cab itself it's just really beefy <laughs> the driver's actually kind of hanging out man that train horn is absolutely loud uh, I think what we're gonna do I want to drive up the track and let it hit me head-on I think that's gonna be the best option uh, let's see where's another train crossing those might be the only ones back there let's go ahead we're gonna take a wide whoa whoa okay okay that's not too bad not too bad at all actually and this is a great looking uh, semi. I love the lights. He's got the uh, orange lights on the side, and you've got the, all the brake lights on the back of the cab. Do the uh, do the trailer's lights light up? Yeah, I no, I actually don't think they do. I think it's because it's a separate, almost like entity, so I guess it doesn't actually count. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to make our way over to the tracks. We're probably just going to do some off-roading here, and I'm going to try to drive down them. Here comes the train now. <laughs> okay, well, we can do this. Oh, no, no, it's going to jackknife. Well, we can repair it. Actually, our wheel might get hit. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, the wheel's gonna beat it. The wheel's gonna beat the train. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's recover it here. All right, I will say we're probably perfectly angled here on the track. This is gonna be awesome. Let's give the uh, train a little honk here. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. That completely obliterated that semi. That was awesome. Okay, I need to go do something productive now. Let's go actually uh, test out some vehicles instead of destroying them all. All right, here is the Komodo Dragster. I have made a couple improvements to it. I added a wheelie bar to the back, I added the compressor to the top, so we got a lot more speed now. And I've made some tweaks here. Now, some people were asking if I could put this on the workshop. I will, even though it's not super impressive. I'm not one of those crazy builders like some of the creations that I show. Uh, I would like to become that one day, but uh, still getting used to it. But uh, one thing I've noticed, we're back at the racetrack, and there's an icon. There wasn't an icon under this uh, little tree over here. So, what is this? Let's see. Start race. Okay, so we can race. All right, so we're going to hit E here. Oh. Oh, actually, you know what? Our, we are over the line here. You know, I was hoping they would add this. So, let's go ahead and reverse here. See if we can line up. I think we're, it's because we're over the line here. Okay, so we're going to go into... Let's go a little closer here. So let's stop. Let's see if we can get this to activate again. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hit E. Okay, there's counting the lights. The lights are up, and there we go. Oh. What? What? What happened? Uh, did I add too much power? Oh, that is awesome. I I'm really glad they added that. These people have been great about updating stuff. Like that was quick uh, between it and the train. Uh, whatever they did last update, that's been impressive. Uh, let's try this again. I, I don't know why it exploded. All right, I'm ready to give this another go here. Let's line up to the line about right there. All right, hit the E key. Let's start this. Let's do this. All right, here comes the tree here, and go. Yeah, this has definitely got a lot more tank off than my last Dragster had. Let's see, there it goes. It's gonna be, can we hit 300 kilometers? There's 300. Uh, we're gonna go to 400. Can we make it to 500? Oh, oh, the wobble, the wobble. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we're dead. We're dead. 
Yep, that is definitely an improvement, but that is awesome. I'm glad they added that tree in there. I was a little disappointed last episode when I couldn't activate it, but, uh, yeah, that dragster is definitely a lot better. Yeah, I'll throw that on the workshop, and I'll probably throw the, uh, limo up on the workshop. All right, I think I found the ultimate vehicle in the workshop. This thing is absolutely stunning. This is a mammoth tank made by Verdetti. I believe I'm saying that right. I'll put a link in the description. This looks awesome. Like, this really shows me the true potential of the builder in this game, and I don't... I don't know what these fire trucks are doing, but they are getting on my nerves a little bit. Uh, let's see how this thing drives, and I'm really curious. Does the gun work? This game used to have guns. You used to be able to go in first person and actually drive or walk around and shoot holes in the side of buildings. I think they took that out for some reason. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, let's see how this thing works. Okay, so it turns. Oh, okay, so it almost looks like there's tracks under there, but it's just a bunch of wheels. Oh, let's see. Can we move the turret? up top that's the question <gasps> oh it does fire oh okay how do we move the turret though that's the question okay the uh, alt key up oh, here we go here we go <laughs> oh that is so cool look at that it actually fires so yeah okay and now I really wanted to create a tank in the game now we completely blew those apart uh Actually, how did we go? Okay, I hit Alt, and now we have actually folded up our wheels. I think that's like a, maybe a stabilization thing? Could be wrong. Uh, let's blow a couple more holes. Go ahead and hit these buildings. Yeah, you used to be able to do this when you're just walking around. You used to be able to shoot. I don't know why they took that away, but, uh, that is too cool. Yeah, let's, uh, let's run over these. Okay, here's one of the questions. Can we actually run over this stuff without blowing ourselves apart? Oh, nope. Okay, it doesn't quite have the uh, the climbing capabilities, but uh, I think that's morally due because of the uh, the wheels that are on here. Now, I would really love to see them add some tracks to the game. And, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, just blew one off the side. Okay, I think we can still shoot, though. We're still combat ready. Let's go ahead and blow a couple more holes in the uh, garage here. That is so cool. Like, that is... I, I want that actually in real life. Like, I'd love to have a Lego model after this. And, oh, we're just going to do... Uh, we're gonna go backwards here. This is probably the most effective way for me to drive right now. Oh, there we go. Wait, where was he setting? I think he was somehow... I think he's in the bottom here. And wow, we have an absolute mess here, but uh, I believe he's somewhere... He was in the undercarriage, probably in the, uh, the actual shell here. I kind of thought he was in the turret. That is definitely one of the most awesome things that I've seen in the game so far. All right, the last thing I want to check out here, I found this on the workshop. This is by somebody we've checked out before. He checked out his Ford Thunderbird last episode. Uh, this is the A-Team van. I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know what the A-Team is. Uh, if you've ever heard of Mr. T, it was just an old TV show. Uh, they recently redid a, or they did a movie, and I think it was actually terrible. But uh, the uh, the van's really famous, and oh, oh. But anyways, this was made by uh, Magnum Farce. <laughs> Still a great name. He did a fantastic job here. This thing looks exact. Like, from the shape of the van to the paint job, this thing looks pretty on point. Oh, look at that! Even the light bar lights up. Oh, this thing is so awesome. All right. I haven't really discovered this desert map or explored it at all, so we're going to drive this thing around, put it through its paces. I have a feeling this thing is really top-heavy. It's just a... It's a box. I mean, it's, it's the A-Team van. It's just huge. So, uh... I don't know, let's see if I can drive this thing around. You know, I used to have a model for one of these. Uh, it was like one of those old snap-together models. It was already pre-painted. I remember I loved that thing, but uh, like most things, uh, like Legos, like models, when I was a child, I always destroyed them. So uh, I don't know if that says anything about my personality, but hopefully it doesn't. And oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. It's good. 18 van is now convertible. Yeah, we're fine. Still drives. Uh, letting a little air in now, uh, but yeah, that's that wasn't too bad. I'm really surprised this thing's actually driving off from that. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. Let's try to pick up some speed here. Maybe we can get some air on these humps. Kind of want to take a really fast car through here. Up, oh, up. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's air. Oh, that's gonna be a cliff. Oh, there we go. Oh, are we still driving? This A team van is really resilient. Look at that. It's still. If I was up on my uh, wheels here, we'd we could actually drive off from that. But anyways, guys, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys really liked the uh, first episode, so I figured I'd bring it back, try to build some new things, and check some things out. 
So if you guys have anything you want me to check out, comment below. Or if you have anything you want me to build, comment below. I've actually been going through the, uh, like I said, the LEGO website and going through all the instructions as I crash my vehicle up here. But yeah, I've been going through all the instructions, kind of looking through on new builds that I can do here. So I'm going to spend quite a bit more time with it and really get used to the builder. And maybe we can get some fantastic things built. But anyways, guys, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. We'll have some more gameplay videos coming out very soon. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.